I love scary videos. I like watching compilation channels like Top Fives, Nuke Top Fives, Slapped Ham, Search Books, and along with another handful of creators I watch my own, you know, ghost hunting video channels, um, I won't mention right now, but I like to be skeptical of most videos I watch on the internet, mainly because there are so many fakers out there, and I hate when people fake videos. And what it does whenever people fake a scary video or a ghost video is it discredits literally every other creator that's actually trying to catch paranormal evidence on camera. I'm not trying to change anyone's mind if you don't believe in ghosts and that's whatever. However, whenever somebody makes a video mainly for clickbait or, you know, to get views, it really undermines the other people that are trying to basically catch paranormal evidence of their own. If they do ever catch anything paranormal or a phenomenon of some sort, no one will ever believe it. With that being said, anytime I see a video that pops up on whether it be uh, Nuke Top 5s or even Chills, whereas uh, TikTok videos, I automatically do not believe them. There have been so many TikTok videos that have been proven to be fake, along with other bigger YouTubers that do ghost hunting videos, I agree that they can't all be fake. I don't understand anybody who's watching a video and see some of this fake crap and they're just like... <laughs> total bullshit and recently there's even been channels that I used to watch that have fallen more into this trend of hanging out with people like oh my gosh or bringing in a rapper to paranormal ghost hunts I mean I'm not gonna knock anybody's creativity but what does that have to do with anything especially if you're selling yourself as a, a no bullshit ghost hunter why would you team up with somebody who's known to be a faker you know what I mean while doing research for this video, I came across a few channels that I will link in the description where I got video proof of people faking paranormal evidence. And just take a look. Who's there? In this one here, there's a guy literally standing right next to the door. I mean, you can't tell me you didn't see him there. I mean, it's not a ghost. That one's not a ghost. That's a dude. It's a guy standing right there. He's on your team. It's another thing. If you're doing paranormal investigations, I suggest whether it be just yourself or maybe one or two people. But don't take a whole team of people to fake evidence. I, um, like this one here, you can clearly see a guy pushing the chandelier hanging from the roof there. And stuff like this that really bothered me because like I said it undermines everybody that's out there doing a real paranormal investigation trying to catch evidence trying to prove something out there so yeah along with this trend is the dark web mystery boxes that you can order from the dark or the deep web to you know boost your channels algorithm bullshit most of them are fake I mean I can't say all of them are fake but how hard is it for you to go down to Goodwill load up a box and do one of these videos. Uh, I'm gonna post a link in the description. Mr. GG literally did this in one of his videos where he went to Goodwill, he made a box, and he just went through it like, oh. Some of the best paranormal evidence I've seen on videos are people that aren't actually ghost hunters. Like, I myself am a ghost hunter. You've seen my videos. If you're new to my channel, go check out some of my videos. But there are so many, like, just urban explorers that catch stuff off guard. They're not looking for ghosts, they're not. But then they come across something, and that's what's really interesting. And with that being said, I'm not saying that you can't go out and make a video that's scary. For fun. You know, me and my daughter, daily, we make videos sometimes together. Uh, here's one of our videos where, you know, we made it in the house, and it's fake. This isn't a real ghost video, and we never market it as such. And it's just fun to make, you know. I agree. You go out there, you can have fun. Why not? But the thing that bothers me is whenever people try to tell me, no, it's, no, this is real. No, it's not. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Like, comment, share. I'd love to hear from you. What were your thoughts on this video? Let me know. It looks like you made it to the end of the video. I need to give a big thank you to Cassie Olinger, the great American urban legend through the veil, soul searching, 
Dan Bradley, Loretta Houston, Beyond the Veil Investigations, Miguel Dilemma Yoham, and Ghost Tracers for retweeting my last video tweet. If you'd like a shout out at the end of my next video, just retweet this video. Comment, subscribe, and thanks for sticking around to the end of the video.